One of the alleged victims in the Ishmael kidnapping and torture case died before the case went to trial. But as ABC 10 senior reporter Mike Hoey explains, Jason Sadowski's and Charles Cope's jury heard from the woman Thursday through a recording of her testimony during the preliminary exam. Alleged victim number two of Jason Sadowski and Charles Cope said at the prelim that Sadowski struck her more than 20 times, attempted to strangle her, and duct taped her to a post in the basement of his mixed martial arts studio. How were you found her secured to the post? I was tied my hands off the door so I couldn't touch the tape. There was tape around my mouth and my hair and around my ankles. Everything was tied around the doors. Okay. But I I was having problems because I couldn't stand or, or sit because I was choking if I didn't like keep my knees bent. She testified that Sadowski used a sword to force her and alleged victim number one into the basement. At this point in time, as you feel this, I mean, you think the sword in your back when you're being pulled into the basement. That I was going to be killed. I was dead. Police did not take any swords as evidence because of the large number of swords on the premises given the martial arts training that took place there. And that sword is not part of the tabulation either, is that correct? You know, there were so many swords in this place, I didn't want to take them off. I didn't grab them because there was too many swords and I only have a small evidence room and I don't want to fill it up with junk. Ishpeming Police Chief Dan Willey spent most of Thursday on the witness stand. Alleged victim two said that Sadowski woke up Cope, who had been sleeping in the basement, and asked him to help duct tape both women, which she said Cope did. Judge Jennifer Mazuki told the attorneys to be ready to present their closing arguments here at the Marquette County Courthouse Thursday afternoon if necessary, but that they would more likely take place Friday morning along with her final instructions to the jury. In Marquette, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.